Ah, oh, Shaman is here, and welcome back to another Eurovision reaction video. If you are new to the channel, welcome to our chaotic home. Uh, <laughs> on the channel, we like to react to Eurovision songs as they come out without any prior knowledge of content, context, or style. And in today's case, without any idea how to pronounce the title of the song. <laughs> are, are our opinions about music better than yours? No, they are not. And will our opinions about the song change as we hear it a million times? Most likely. Um, so yes, today we are reacting to Euro to Azerbaijan's entry for Eurovision. Woo! Previously on Eurovision, we had thank you, Terrell Turan X, with the song. What was it called? Tell me more. Uh, they did fail to qualify, but they were charming and adorable and very had a nice retro vibe. Mm -hmm. um, today we have, I believe, Fari featuring Ilkin Dovlatov, and the title of the song might be. Ozun la apar, and I have no idea if that's correct. Excuse me. So sorry. But the, I think we genuinely have uh, no idea what this is going to be like, so let's make some wild conjecture. Who has impressions? It's going to have folk instruments. Okay, folk instruments. Okay, I think Fari is a DJ and the featured mm. person is a singer. That's... Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good bet, but not always. Unless mm. you're featuring Flo Rida. Oof. <laughs> Gross. Well, we're not. <laughs> Don't do that. We're not doing that ever again. Do we what? think... That wasn't awful, admittedly, but it wasn't great. It wasn't worth, worth like, it. Like, it could be a singer and a guest rapper. I, yeah, it's like, I do I, am I leaning toward rap? And a, and a singer. This is what I think. I think that one of them is very famous and one of them is not. So Ilkin Dolatav is famous. Maybe. What? If it's a featured one of them is, someone. Yeah. Are they a politician? Or the featured artist is a new up and coming star. I don't know. Could be. Anybody have any thoughts? Else? I don't anyone else? There's gonna be a confetti. Confetti? Yeah. This during the showcase performance? Yeah. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, no, nope. we really don't know. I think We're... I I have a impression I can give. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> I think it's going to have a bit of a Middle Eastern vibe, oh. like traditional vibe. Sure. Soccer from Azerbaijan that is pretty rare from them. Um, but you don't have your sign. Gosh, sarcasm. Darn it. I still next year, guys. I'm sarcasm. gonna have a sign that says it's just gonna be sarcasm because it doesn't. It's like texting. You can't tell if somebody's like joking or being mad or like, okay, all right, cool. Like, just it. It doesn't come across. So I'm gonna have a sign next year. So don't get upset. It's okay. I'm sorry, guys. There will also be a drum solo uh, in the idiom of a particular. 90s rock. Okay, and on that note, we're gonna find out what we've got. It's, Van Halen. it's always Van Halen. Are you, are you guys ready? Mm, okay. okay. Oh, hi. Hey, DJ. Leave the light, stand the Breathy, moody singer guy, Squire. <laughs> I've never seen a professional use a Squire before. Oh, we've got backing singers. I'm ready. Okay, I like the coloration in his voice. Mm -hmm. It's got some nice warmth. Glad he didn't do the breathy thing the entire song. Yeah, no, he's. It's a coloration instead of a cl crutch. Oh, those aren't singers. Those are <laughs> He's wearing all black. <laughs> but it's not mesh. Ooh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Then this person. The conductor, apparently. Who is this other person? The one that it's featuring, probably. Oh, is it the DJ? No. No. That's the one that they're gonna bring on for the, like, bridge. Oh, 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 the okay. Featuring. Okay, I'm sorry. So slow. he's just gonna do the bridge. It's an interesting choice to use the vintage mic. Yeah. That's a great look, though. Very nice. And it's mixed very well. Yes. I agree. Yeah. All the pieces. I love the harmony as well. Like, it's really understated. Are we gonna get any more of the featured artists? Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm gonna make my go first. Okay, I really liked it. Okay, next. <laughs> no. Um. So I really do like the main singer's voice a lot. I. Yeah. Where it. Yeah, you were like describing. Yeah, sorry. What kind of vocal quality mm -hmm. he had, but it was very like I don't know. Damn it. Full, but not because it was loud, because it was full. Yes. So when he got into the chorus, I was like, hmm, this is, this is like a very small range of his voice. Yeah. And then he did the falsetto. I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Thanks. I, I think I, I wish there was a little bit more range mm. from the main singer. Um, the featured artist, I thought, added s some good quality to the piece, and I liked the vocalizations and stuff. Although, I was having a hard time watching him. It kind of seemed like he was just like... Yeah. Uh, I'm just singing. <laughs> Whatever. Like, it didn't even look like he was really singing in the video. It looked well, like... Well, probably wasn't singing in the video. But, like, I don't know. I hope he has a good stage presence because I was not really buying it in the, <laughs> in this. Um, the other guy did great. Um, so now I'm confused. Is is the DJ one of these people? I know. Or like we had everything. Maybe the the regular singer isn't like that's his band, and then the featured artist would. I don't know. Maybe I'll bet someone would be nice and tell us. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But, or rude and tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Which awesome. is also fine. <laughs> we can get both. I also like the depth of the instrumentation a lot, yeah. too. The strings. I always love good strings in Eurovision song. Mm -hmm. um, it has done well in the past. Yeah. Overall, I am a little concerned about it standing out amongst mm -hmm. some of the other songs, mm -hmm. but I enjoy it. I don't know if... It's, it brings enough to the table to make me want to vote for it more than other songs. Mm -hmm. I really liked it, though. So, I I don't know where, where it'll place. Okay. Uh, I, uh, who wants to go? Uh, sure. Do it. Um, so, this one didn't really grab me. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't, like, really <laughs> drawn in by the song. I do like this song i think i it just wasn't like it was like oh this is pretty good but i wasn't like it didn't really like grab me and like have like i wasn't like paying super close attention because it was like oh this is great mm -hmm. like but i was also like well oh, this is pleasant and enjoyable to listen to um i was definitely very worried at the beginning with the the excessively intentionally breathing yeah. thing 
because I hate that. I get it for like an opening for some color and then he he dropped it and I'm like, that's fine. That that's cool. And mm -hmm. he has a great voice. And so like that was fine by me. Because he used it appropriately. Other singers take heed. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not talking about anybody specific either. Just generally. If it the, speaks to you, it speaks to you. The world of singers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so I like the I like the guest artist. Um, he assuming that the is there a term <clears throat> for that style? It's yes. Like, it's actually Middle Eastern yodeling, right? Like it's a traditional Ooh. vocal. Ooh. It's a traditional vocal, like uh, yeah. It predates yodeling by a bit. I would, right. I would it guess is, like it doesn't it contain lyrics like yodeling. Like, yodeling doesn't. Yes. There, no, there there is a hundred percent a name for it that I don't have in my brain. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. Yes. So someone can tell us. <laughs> it's like I know what. Like yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Same style yes. kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so that that's cool. I like that Azerbaijan uh, often incorporates that into mm -hmm. their. In, they read they read into the memo. Their songs, yeah, like yeah. it it works well. It's a nice um, accent for their submissions when they do it. So it's mm -hmm. really good. And it's I mean it's very unique to Azerbaijan. Like you're not going to get that. Uh, Trying to think of maybe Anywhere. when Turkey was in, but they're not in anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, you would get that, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, it was enjoyable. I thought it was a little weird. Like they played the state, like, like the DJ had like the two, like JBL studio monitors there for no reason. Like maybe to bulk, like, out, bulk, bulk out the stage. It's I guess like it just, they see, it seemed awkward to me. It was like a little off putting. So I'm like, yeah. well, they're not playing live right and we don't have guitar amps and stuff here but this dude felt the need to like lay his mac out and then get <laughs> the studio monitors on the table not maybe, hooked up to maybe anything the table looked just empty. there had to fill it up this is know, this weird. is his scene like everybody who watches this knows this is this person like he's gotta <laughs> keep true to his image but sure. <laughs> no DJ performs with a pair of basic six and a half studio monitors because, like, there's no projection from those. Like, those are near field monitors, people. It's just off putting for me. I don't know. It has nothing to do with the song. Got it. That's fair. <laughs> no DJ's performance. All right, uh, Carlina. Okay, I'll go then. <laughs> do it. I demand it. So, I really like this song because I really like him, I think. The main singer. I don't know who any of these people are, so I'm not going to refer to them as such. Um, but yeah, like, all the way around, like, I love the quality of his voice, that fullness. Just, it feels like you're being just wrapped in, like, a really soft blanket. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. All the way through the, all the way through the range. From <laughs> Fun the, fact, Carlina <laughs> likes really soft blankets. I do. Uh, oh, um... So that, uh, he's attractive. We won't have to go there, but it's part of my appear like my appeal to the song. Just kidding. Um, not kidding. This is like, <laughs> like everything that I am vibing to right now. Like, yeah, I just feel this. Like it, again, this song just kind of like put me into that space to where I'm like, I am so into this. And I will say, while there was not a folk instrument, there was, this was very much, I got what I wanted out of this because mm -hmm. that man, definitely, it was a folk singing, style. Yeah. folk style of singing. And the one thing that struck me was at the very end, how the older gentleman did that. And then oh. the main singer echoed it. And echoed I'm like, it. oh, passing down the tradition. Like, I don't know if that's intentional in this song, but that's what I took from it. And right. I think that that is beautiful. It was just a little bow. I'm not just sure he's the older, older. Like They look the same age to me. Yeah, pretty... The guy in the back? Or the, the guy who was doing the folky singing? Yeah, folky singing? I think they were like around the same age. I don't think I so. I got an older vibe too. I, it might partly be because of the older style. Well, like he might technically be older than him, but I wouldn't yeah. classify him as an older I'm not gentleman. saying he's like an octogenarian. <laughs> he had a... He, I'm saying if that guy, the lead, like the, the main singer was like really 35, not. then he might be 50. Like, a, what? Uh, or, like, a few years. I don't know. Don't get offended. I'm not talking about you on the other side of the screen. I guess the main like, guy I just, it's a folk. Okay, whatever. Like, 
<laughs> Sorry if I offended anybody out there. You didn't offend anybody. I think you're 24 and he's 27, so he's technically older. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's all good. I'll go back and watch it again and I feel really it, horrible about what I said. So. No, I think it, like, I, I understand. I, first of all, in terms of his dress, so, like, his dress was a little more Yeah, appearance-wise to me. But he definitely had a fuller, connect, more connected beard, and I think that gives an impression of him being... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. It was beautiful if that was the intention no, was of the, passing down. the main guy. main guy. Yeah, that's the main guy. With, like, not connected... Mustache. No, that's the. No, it's not. Okay, it so again, sorry, anyway. but the folk in the older yeah. style of music to the newer style, like transitioning Passing that echo, on. was really beautiful. <clears throat> <sighs> sorry, guys. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Um. So, what do I have to say that isn't hasn't already been said? Um. Okay, so I'm old, and I'm also, like. The majority has, of my life has been influenced by Western music. So please take this in context. So for me, as someone who doesn't listen to this style every day, but is fully aware that it exists and has also heard plenty of it, um, the combination of styles instantly puts me in mind of Sting and Amr Diab singing Desert Rose from like way back in the day, like even before my time. Um, yes. <laughs> which I still time. really love <laughs> that song. So it was kind of nice um, yeah, seeing the combination of styles then. And um, as far as, this isn't about the song specifically, but I, I, from a performance aspect, it seemed weird to me that they were so separate mm -hmm. in this video. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously on stage they won't be physically separated by that much, but it it um it took me out of whatever was happening each time they switched back and forth. So I think um, I'll have to listen to the audio only for a f just a few times to get that back. So cool. Overall, uh, good times. I really enjoyed this. I think we all enjoyed it. Yes. Um. Next up, we will be listening to Georgia. So please let us know how you're feeling about this song in the comments, and we will meet you back in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.